Hey guys, back at it again today. I want to get into a little bit more of a blues series. I've been spending a lot of time with fingerstyle lately and I want to break some blues down for you. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, uh, in blues guitar soloing, the go-to is usually the pentatonic scale. And uh, you're going to get a lot of use out of that for sure. But um, that little bit you just saw me play uh, was kind of outside of pentatonic thinking. And I'll walk you through what I'm thinking when I was playing that. And what this will do is help get you a little bit more variety in your sound. So if I was in an A blues, of course, the first thing people are going to go to is... Which is that, you know, A minor pentatonic first position. That's cool. I mean, you can use that. But um, what I did in this bit... Those are all chords in my in my head. You know, I was thinking chords. This first lick here is based on this A chord, this you know F shape that we know. Obviously, you can move that all around the guitar, and we end up it's no longer F. Um, it's F here, but you know we move it up here. It's an A chord. And what I do with that is um, when I'm soloing over the one chord. Little, uh, there's like a little chord shape I can play there. Chromatic approach. So you think of that, think of that chord as a scale. This note, that note, that note, and that note. You know, you know obviously you're not going to be playing it like a chord. You're going to be using those. So all that chromaticism, you know, and the way you make those notes chromatic, obviously, is every note that you play there is available to you a half step back as long as you're still moving to to the, uh, the chord tone. That's the thinking of it. Watch that again. Here's here's our chord tone. Here here's our chord and our chord tones. Right now, chromatically, the note before each one of those is available to us moving towards that. So now let's take a pentatonic lick. See what I mean? Now all of a sudden it was like, well, what was that? That wasn't pentatonic. No, it was, I used my pentatonic scale. Hacked through some, you know, my, one of my usual licks. And then I'm like, well, I'm thinking to myself, I'm still on the A chord, so, oh, sorry. You know, and then I have that available to me in all kind of various forms, chromatically moving into it or a whole step up. So I can go whole step up, half step under, whole step up, half step under, whole step up, half step under, whole step up. So that becomes, well, look. There's your whole scale, and it's based off of this chord. So, now I'll do the next one. And that's how you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of your chord licks. So when you're playing this A shuffle, think to yourself, my pentatonic lick, Now chord lick, chord lick, pentatonic, chord lick, then I go to the D, now, that's that same shape, but now played up at the, uh, at the four play with four chord. So if I was going to generically just use this idea, yeah, and I wouldn't recommend this, you guys will hear why, but the, you theoretically you could go one chord, four chord,
that turned around in our last video, remember? So we have three chord forms here. The first one, and uh, you can get a lot of juice out of that. That's our first, you know, chord. I call it chord scale in my head. You know, it's just like my, that, that's the base of my chord scale. That lick, that provides a lot of stuff for me. This one, there's the next one. And we'll get into this one in other videos. And then here's the other one. And they're all A chords, guys. A gives me this. You know, this one, which we've discussed, gets me that one. And this one, I, this is the Dickie Betts one. I call it that because I remember it like. Remember that lick, you know? So that's, he was doing it. He was using that same concept with that A shape. And you know, there you see what I'm talking about. There, right there's the chord that he based Jessica off of. Uh, so I'll use that same idea. And just mix it up a little bit. And uh, you know, everybody rips everybody off. That's what Keith Richards said. But um, anyway, guys, hope this is helpful. Blues you can use. Uh, we're going to do some more videos on uh, these different chord shapes and how you can get some variety in your pentatonic playing with our chord scales. Check it out. www.theguitar-shop.com. Email theguitarshopstudios at gmail.com. Keep picking.